I shall want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadash, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father, His beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. I also would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much due honors and respect to the sincere brethren out there that's also laboring in his work. And as always, want to say shalom to the believers, you know, the Akim as well as the Aqua, which will be you brothers along with the sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So yeah, this lesson right here is going to be pretty much centered around the hypocrisy of the so-called white man, you know, which I uploaded a video earlier from my original channel, which is actually, in essence, my second channel, you know, my backup channel, technically, which <laughs> I can't even keep up with all the different channels that's being created, you know, brothers creating backup channels. And in some cases, you have certain brothers who are on their 10th and 11th and 12th channels. Why? Because these devils is scrutinizing, you know, this truth, you know, and, and altogether terminating certain platforms and forums where the truth is on display. Now, the video I uploaded received a strike, making it the second strike on that particular channel, Jim is Mistress of the Kingdom, meaning I can't upload videos for the next two weeks. So moving forward, you know, all the activity as it concerns uploading videos is going to be exclusively on this channel right here, you know, which is uh, Mysteries of the Kingdom, the trilogy, and the reason why it's entitled as such is because this would be my third channel, you know, which it seems like these devils have a damn scope, <laughs> you know, on my channel, man. You know, as well as other brothers, you know, but um, it seems as if these devils have assigned a special damn task force team to sit on my channel, man. Because real talk, I can't go two weeks without these devils hitting me with a strike, you know. And it's all an effort to discourage uh, this truth. They want to have brothers to be hesitant. You know, they want you to uh, think. You know, they want you in the spirit of, well, should I do this video you know, getting on Esau, right, they might hit me with a strike. Well, look, man, as much as the spirit allow, we're going to continue to get on, you devils. And there's nothing you can do to hinder this word. See that? So pretty much uh, what happened was I read the email, you know, to the reason why they gave me a strike. And I'm going to be honest, I was anticipating it to be centered around copywriting issues because I actually used the clip that I got from YouTube, you know, as the prelude, if you will, to the video. Now, the reason they gave me in the email, it said, our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our hate speech. <laughs> we removed the following content from YouTube. Now, first thing is, uh, if you removed the content that you deem to be uh, hate speech, well, that should be the end of it, you know? You have removed the content, so why uh, do you have to strike the page? You know, meaning, you know, um, you know these devils, they, they, it's, it's a bigger, you know, it's a, it's a bigger picture with these devils, you know? But that's neither here or there, you know, this, this their rules. But my thing is this, they framed this video hate speech, right? But the video clip that I used as a prelude to my lesson, it's something that I took from YouTube, all right? And the video was centered around these devils, you know, this so-called white boy and white woman. And the video was entitled, How to Make a Nigger. And they was making mockery of Jake, right? But that video is out there. It's still circulating, you know? There's no strike on the video. The video is out there. It's viral. <laughs> But I took the same video that's out there right now and I added commentary to the video using the scriptures as the filter. And guess what? They deemed it as hate speech, man. So that proves that the so-called white man is a hypocrite. Matter of fact, let's uh, start off right here in Isaiah the 5th chapter in the 20th verse. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. See? So in essence, the video clip that I used, which is still out there, you know, you haven't taken that video down. You haven't uh, given a strike to whatever channel that produced that video. 
you know. And the title of the video, or the topic of the video, is how to make a nigga, man. See that? Or even when you consider um, YouTube being a platform for videos dedicated to women twerking, you know, uh, gang violence, you know, drama, shootouts, shootings. You can even watch certain movies uh, dedicated to drug dealers. You know, there's documentaries you can watch right here on YouTube that's centered around drug lords and turf wars and drug wars. Yet, when brothers push for videos and the, the source of the video, all right, is centered around the scriptures, or the source of the video is the scriptures, it's based upon the scriptures, then that's considered to be a hate crime, man, or hate speech. See? And they even go as far as uh, categorizing us as a hate group. And that's hypocrisy at its finest, man. When you take a glimpse into the so-called white man's history, it's riddled with violence. The real hate groups is, is centered around the so-called white man, the KKK, you know, neo-Nazis, man. See? The skinheads. And pretty much the so-called white man as a whole. That's a hate group. See? But the very ones who you victimized, you know, when we speak out, we are considered the hate group. And that's why your How About Your Shah is going to bring heavy judgment on Esau. Again, it says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Yeah, meaning the misinformation, the disinformation. You put that out there as if it's understanding and knowledge. That's what it means when you put darkness for light. But it goes on to say, and light for darkness. Yeah, meaning this is the true wisdom. This is the light what we have. Yet, you promote it as darkness, <laughs> as hate speech. See? It says that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Yeah, so, you know, when you teach this word, you have just signed up pretty much to be demonized. And we understand that. You know? We understand this is what we signed up for. You're going to be scrutinized. Again, you have uh, videos out there that's dedicated to violence, man. Yet, when we bring out truth, Especially when you condemn this devil, man, he, he becomes offended. You know, and right now, this man is cut, man. He's hurt. All right, why? Because we have single-handedly, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shema Shah, foiled this man's plans by pointing him out and identifying him and targeting him as the devil that the Bible speaks of. See? We have hurt his credibility, man. You know, when your credibility is gone, you, you can't push forth you know, um, your narrative anymore. People are going to question you. See? So we understand that the so-called white man has pretty much uh, targeted us as being the biggest nemesis, if you will, and thorn in his side. Matter of fact, stand in the book of Isaiah, the 59th chapter, and um, the 15th verse, it says, Yeah, truth felleth, See? And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Let's read this again. It says, yeah, truth felleth. Yeah, meaning, you know, in the so-called white man's world, truth is, is not uh, going to be celebrated, man. In fact, truth is going to be frowned upon. See? Again, it says, truth felleth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. So this is what we signed up for. Because this world have no room for truth, man. It's centered around lies and deception and vanity. See? So by us standing for truth and promoting truth, we're going to be made a prey. Everybody's going to look at you sideways, man. See? Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. So what's going to happen? The Lord is going to bring the remedy, and that's judgment. So, you know, we're not vexed about you know, you devils and, you know, how you go about your business. Look, you the devil. You're supposed to uh, do what you do, all right? And we expect a resistant uh, force, you know, an oppositional force to this truth. Again, this is a spiritual war over here, all right? So, again, I just want to throw that out there. You know, um, Lord willing, we'll be streaming live later tonight from this channel, you know, for the next two weeks, all the activity, if you will, as it concerns uploading these videos will be uh, exclusively on this channel right here. 
mysteries of the kingdom and trillies. So y'all just want to touch on that, Lord willing, it was edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom.